In 2018, the legendary action film Die Hard celebrated its 30th anniversary and even three decades later, it remains to be one of the best in the genre. This movie has skyrocketed Bruce Willis's career, and after five Die Hard movies, fans are still demanding more. So could a sixth movie join the franchise? It has been nine years since Willis last took down bad guys as John McClane in the fifth Die Hard movie. Following the previous five films, the most recent being 2013's A Good Day to Die Hard, there have been a lot of rumors about a potential sequel, but until now, it never seemed to get off the ground at any movie studio. Throughout the years, Willis has spoken about the sequel and mentioned that the production will begin once the script is complete, allowing us all to hope that this movie is indeed happening. Currently, there isn't any official confirmation that the sixth movie is happening, but there have been a bunch of rumors over the years that makes us suspicious that the sixth movie will happen any day now. In the past, producer Lorenzo de Bonaventura revealed that a planned sixth installment, simply dubbed McLean, has been cancelled following the merger of Fox and Disney. He revealed that this project was paused indefinitely, but could this turn into a reality? For years, diehard fans have been hoping to hear some news about the sixth movie, and since we have learned that a sixth installment named McLean was once in the works, we can't help but hope that this is the movie that will be the newest addition to the franchise. De Bonaventura clarified, that he doesn't know what the plans are for a possible sequel or prequel. If Disney decides to bring the franchise back, the producer has revealed his plans for the sixth chapter. He plans on making both the sequel and a prequel into one movie named McLean, where we'd have Willis as the present-day McLean and a new actor portraying the young version of McLean. However, none of this has been confirmed, and for now, there still isn't any news about Die Hard 6. For a long time, Die Hard 6 was called Die Hard Year 1 when the film first started to ramp up development back in 2015, but now with everything changing, the title of the movie has changed as well into simply McLean. This is the producer's version of the movie, although it isn't the official one, we'd still love to believe that this will be the version they go with in the end. After the release of the fifth installment in 2013, Fox Studios began planning the sixth sequel, presumably in response to the film's negative critical reception. In 2019, this entire production was paused by Disney, but that same year, only a few months later, reports surfaced that Disney was smashing that like button like you should be doing right now. But no, Disney was developing McLean as a streaming series, which would probably air on Disney. Although this was planned, it eventually didn't come to reality, leaving only one option out there, and that was to make a sixth sequel in the franchise. Currently, Disney appears to be unbothered by this franchise, but a lot can change in just a few months. If we're lucky, we might get an official announcement about the movie in early 2023, although this seems a bit unlikely. But let's continue being positive. If the movie is announced in 2023 and the script is already ready, that could mean that the movie could enter the development stage almost immediately and begin filming soon after. It might be tricky to get everyone on board for this movie, but we believe that Willis will be the first one to go back and reprise his role. If everything goes smoothly, we might get to see this movie in late 2024 or early 2025. We know it's a long wait, but we've already been waiting a long time, so a few more years is nothing compared to nine. Speaking of Bruce Willis, one question we'd all like to know is whether he'll be back as John McClane. To be honest, we can't imagine anyone else reprising his role, and Die Hard without Willis would simply lose its charm. Willis has spoken about it, and he has explained that he would love to play McClane once again. However, many believe that this movie will feature a younger version of McClane as well, so Willis might not be the only lead character in this next movie. The main idea behind this movie is a time-hopping story that shows McLean in the present day and a case from his past when he was younger and first working as a cop in New York. Due to this, it's crucial to find an actor that will portray Willis in his early 30s. With a character as iconic as McLean, it's only fair that Willis will want to have some say in who will get to play the younger version of the cop. Throughout the franchise, we've seen multiple characters come and go, but the one constant has been Bruce Willis. Without him, there wouldn't be a Die Hard franchise, he was the one that made this action film turn into a reality and legendary five-chapter franchise, and now we would be able to see the sixth one, all thanks to him. Another character that was a fan favorite in the first two films was Holly McLean, John's wife. The character was mentioned in the third movie, although the actress didn't appear on screen in the franchise since the second movie. However, in the sixth movie, there have been talks that a younger version of Holly might appear in the past story for McLean and it was also teased that Bonnie Bedelia might return to reprise a role as Holly one last time.
The Die Hard franchise is one of the most well-known action franchises in the world. The first movie that started it all came out in 1988 and instantly transformed Bruce Willis into a global superstar. The first movie introduced us to Detective John McClane and his wife Holly. Throughout the movie, the two are in Nakatomi Plaza when the building is taken over by a group of East German terrorists led by Hans Gruber. Throughout the events of the movie, McLean had to save everyone and fight off the bad guys. The movie was a monumental success, eventually earning a place in the US National Film Registry and is widely considered to be one of the greatest action films of all time. Two years after the first film, a sequel followed and in 1995, a third movie was released titled Die Hard with a Vengeance. Twelve years after the third movie premiered, the series returned in 2007 with Live Free or Die Hard, also known as Die Hard 4. In 2013, the latest movie of the franchise was released, called A Good Day to Die Hard. Many fans believe that due to the title of the movie, it would be the last movie of the franchise, a movie in which McLean will smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. But no, in all seriousness, a movie in which McLean will die and the entire franchise will be concluded. However, that wasn't the case. In the fifth movie, McLean teamed up with his son, a CIA operative working undercover in Russia, to expose a high-ranking Russian official. After this movie was released, it was received very poorly by audiences and critics, but it did manage to turn a profit. <laughs> Can't tell you. <laughs> it's not you. I love these outfits. <laughs> and now we're up to Die Hard 6, the movie that will likely be able to save the franchise from the fifth movie. The plot of the movie is set to begin in present-day New York City, where we'll see Willis play the present-day John McLean. The movie will therefore switch between scenes from 1979 and the present day. Although the storyline is still unknown, we have heard a few rumors about featuring two versions of McLean, a present-day one and a younger one. These two versions will be shown simultaneously throughout the entire movie. It's believed that present-day McLean will be involved in a case that reminds him of the past, or more particularly, of his first case as a detective. These two cases might get intertwined together, allowing McLean to reminisce about the past and that first case. As usual, he'll be faced with at least one bad guy who will cause him trouble along the way. Could this be a ghost from the past coming to haunt him in the present? Could it be someone he thought was already gone? There are a lot of questions to be answered, but for now, we're pleased we at least have some information about the movie. Until we can get official announcements, we can always go back and rewatch the five Die Hard movies. And if you'd like to see more videos, then you'll love this video next.